Hi guys, welcome to my review for Under Oath and the new album Erase Me. It was just released and these are my initial thoughts. Um, Under Oath has been my favorite band since 2005 and they are not strangers to change. So whatever they come to do, I've come to accept. And this is their first album in 10 years with Aaron Gillespie and it's a whole new Under Oath, that's for sure. The electronics are incredible. It's a very, very solid rock album, but anybody expecting the pure ferocity of Under Oath prior to this is going to be uh, disappointed. If you're familiar with Sleepwave, um, which is Spencer Chamberlain's band, then you're going to um, have an idea of what to expect. Sleepwave um, is a very, not a band I'm very fond of, and the new Under Oath album, I can tell I'm going to like it, um, just after one listen through, because it sounds so much like Sleepwave, but with a lot more electronics, and the songs all hold their own, the choruses all hold their own. Uh, again, this is pr preliminary review. The first two tracks that have been released, um, I'm not a huge fan of, especially Rapture. And I think a lot of Under Oath fans feel the same way. However, Rapture doesn't define the album, and it really doesn't give a good picture of what the album is like at all. It's softer, it's uh, more experimental. I think it's Under Oath's, bo Under Oath's boldest statement to date. And while I'm going to miss the pure cacophony uh, of songs like um, Everyone Looks So Good From Here, um, Returning Empty Handed, <sighs> Illuminator, songs like that, um, this is something that I'm going to grow to accept. And the guys are in their mid-30s now. Um, met them multiple times, they're all great fellas, and I trust what they do. My one complaint is that Aaron Gillespie is my favorite drummer, and he's the reason I've continued to play drums over all these years. I've been playing drums since fourth grade, and, um, his drum parts are a little too simple, and he's always made no bones about the fact that he wanted to do more complex drum parts, but these just kind of fit with the music. Um, that's not to say he's a glorified metronome by any stretch. However, it's uh, different from the un other Under Oath albums. The only way for you to really understand is to listen to it yourself. And even the Under Oath fans that are in denial about the new sound or upset or fans that are Christian. Uh, I recently converted to Christianity, but um, so I listened to Under Oath's old material for worship purposes, and I listened to their new material for music purposes. And I don't think there's anything wrong with evolving from Beyond a Christian Band to something more. Um, and they definitely have. And I really wouldn't be surprised to see Under Oath launched back into the mainstream from this album because it has the potential to be a huge crossover hit. And they were influenced by Bring Me the Horizon. You can hear it. And it has chance to be a big success. Well, in its first week, I don't think so. But I think that is the... Uh, months come that people are going to really start to catch on and I really think the songs are going to be all over radio so I'm excited to see which songs are released as singles um, and that is about it so enjoy the new album because if you keep an open mind you will thanks for watching